Welcome to the poster presentation for the Water Reclamation System for Electrolux Fabric Care and Reliability Lab. Team members include Chandler Horton, Gabe Martinez, Samuel Norville, Tyler Salisbury, Alex Sinovell, and Jeremy Tozizilla. Electrolux is a socially conscious company that strives to reduce their impact on the environment. Their global technology center houses 64 washing machines that are continuously tested through simulated use. This creates a high demand for water and a large amount of sewage from their facility. The purpose of this project is to develop a water reclamation system to reduce their environmental impact. A scale prototype was developed by the team to evaluate the effectiveness of PCI's available filters against gray water produced by an Electrolux washing machine. Data obtained from this experiment provides insight into the scale of a larger solution for the whole facility. Both the small and large scale solutions are capable of removing target contaminants and reducing water hardness. The prototype, however, does not achieve a 50% reclamation of the water used due to capacity limits. The large scale solution does achieve this. In addition, the large scale solution is able to operate with varying capacity demands, whereas the prototype is limited. Prior to designing the prototype, certain assumptions were made based on testing and research. Baseline water quality testing was performed on Luxelux's gray water and was determined that TSS, primarily consisting of lint, and TDS, primarily consisting of detergents, were the main parameters of concern. pH and total water hardness fell within normal range. Utility data from previous months was extrapolated and used to estimate the flow capacity requirements of the facility. These values were the basis of the system selection and large scale sizing. Flow membrane filtration was selected due to its high removal efficiency and recovery rates with relatively low footprint and maintenance requirement. Two types of membrane filtration were compared using this prototype. Reverse osmosis, which is a pressure-based technology capable of removing detergents and suspended solids with over 95% efficiency, and ultrafiltration, a flow-based technology with a lower molecular weight cutoff, which recycles a high percentage of detergents while filtering out suspended solids such as lint. The team chose PCI membranes as the manufacturer and large-scale consultant due to PCI's 50 years of experience in multiple filtration applications. If our two of sensors and actuator are throughout the system to allow for monitoring and determination of states which are reflected on the user interface. The motor used to turn on the pump is a three-phase 230 volt motor. This is regulated and controlled by a VFD inverter which is connected to the control board for autonomous use. A 120 volt AC input is required to power the secondary pump. The prototype is composed of three-quarter inch stainless steel plumbing in high pressure areas. This allows for operation at 300 or more PSI. The motor and pump combination allows for a flow rate of approximately six gallons per minute. A secondary pump is included to allow recirculation into the washing machine. Performance testing yielded an average flux of 32 gallons per feet square per day for RO and 138 gallons per feet square per day for UF. Since fluctuate is a function of membrane surface area, the ultrafiltration system required to meet capacity requirements would be significantly smaller and cheaper than the RO system, as reflected in the payback analysis. Initial testing found removal of detergents to be 98% for RO and 39% for UF, and the removal of turbidity to be 39% and 87% respectively. The average turbidity values and pH all fell within the acceptable ranges according to the NSF ANSI 350 standards for gray water reuse. As a sustainability center project, implementation of the large scale system would have multiple environmental and community benefits that cannot be quantified economically. Achieving reuse targets will also present the opportunity of applying for sustainability certifications such as LEED. The savings modeled by the expected reclamation rates provide a payback analysis. Keeping in mind inflation and filter replacement costs, it has been determined that the systems would pay back the investment through water and sewage savings at lengths of 12 years for reverse osmosis and 7 years for ultrafiltration.